Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn few table functions. These are the functions we are going to learn. The function names are field name, field number, number of fields, number of rows and number of tables. And the syntax is also in front of you. I will give you link of the help file from click to read further on these functions. So first of all, we will see function field name. I will not going to load all the tables right now. I will say I will load only customer table. The syntax of the function is field name, field number and table name. I will create a variable here. I will say let v field name equal to and then the syntax. So field number I will say number 2 and table name I will say customer. So what this function will do from the customer table it will give me the field name which is number 2 field. Here field number 2 is customer. So it will find out the second field from customer table and store inside variable named as a v field name. If you want to learn more about how to create variables, then you can check my previous video. I will use here trace statement and will say v fill name equal to dollar v fill name. Check my previous video if you want to understand how trace statement is working. So this will print v fill name equal to the variables value here. I will load this application and now you can see here v field name equal to customer. If you go and check to the front end, you will get the same value v field name equal to customer. If I will write here 3, then I will get country. If I will write here 4, I will get nothing because there is no field number 4 here. If I will load two tables here then I can use this field name function here as well. I can say field name and here number of field number 3 of table customer as th customer third field. If I will reload this application and will see the data model then there will be two tables and here you can see the third field is country which is here. This is just to show you that we can use field name inside the load script as well. Mostly I never use this function inside the load statement. The same way if I want to find out second field of employee table I can get it like this employee name which is the second field same way I can get field number so I will say field number equal to the syntax and then field name I will say I want to see the country field from my table customer. So this will give me the number of country field from the table customer and it will store inside the v field number variable. I will trace it here and I will say this and I will do exit script here. I will load this script and we will see what output I am getting we field number equal to 3. You can see the country is third field. If I will do here customer ID, it will give me 1. Same as previous function, we can use this inside the another table and I will say customer ID field number 
we'll load this application and we'll see what we can see in the data model. So that's the first field from customer table. I cannot say employee ID from my employee table. I cannot use like that because if I will do it, I will not get any output. You can see we are getting zero here because this field number and field name you cannot use in a load script for the same table where you are loading it. So you can get data of previously loaded table here. I can say customer and field number then I will get number two here in an employee table number two here. So hope you will get clear idea how to use field name and field number function. I will delete them now. Now the third function number of fields. Number of fields will give you number of fields in a respective table. So the syntax is let me say v number of fields equal to and the syntax is this. So the table name I will say customer and I will again use the trace statement here and I will say this equal to this. I will do exit script here and we'll see what output we are getting. So we have three fields. So you can see we are getting three here. The same way if I will use here I don't need this first line. I will remove the exit script and employee table. So first I will get three and then second time it will give me four and because the same variable name is there it will rewrite the variable. So first I will get three second time I will get four. Again you can use this here and can say customer table fields. So it will give me five fields for here because we have added one more field here and if you see the data model you will get three here which which is the new field we have created. This is just to show you how we can use this number of fields function inside the load statement. In a previous two function field name and field number we have seen that we cannot use that function for the same table where we have used it. So field name and field number if I am using inside employee table I cannot pass table name as employee. I have to pass any table name which is previously being loaded and inside memory. But in the case of number of fields I can use this and I can say employee table fields and I will get number five here. So you can see now we have four fields coming from QVD and the fifth one is what we have created. So if I will use here say employee as flag then I should get now six. You can see now we are getting six fields. So please note down that field name and field number function when you use them inside a load statement you cannot pass the same table name which we are actually loading. You have to pass the table name which already previously loaded. I am removing them now and I will remove that one as well. Now we will see number of rows. I will say here let v number of rows equal to number of rows and then I have to pass a table name. I will use trace statement here and I will say this equal to my dollar sign expansion with the number so I will get the number of rows value. I will do exit script here and we'll see that we are getting 50 rows. So if you go to the data model, 
customer table has got exactly 50 rows the same way we can use it here and I will pass employee table I will load it now and customer table has got 50 rows same employee table has also got 50 rows we will check that one from here the data model we can see that customer table has got 50 rows and employee table also has got 50 rows let's use this number of rows customer inside this and says customer table rows and as expected we will get 50 but but if I will use employee here, I will get zero here. Yeah. So same as field name and field number, you cannot use number of rows for the same table in a load statement. Now the last one, number of tables. I will delete this and say we are loading these two tables I will create one variable I don't have to pass any parameter inside this function and I will use trace statement here and will say v number of tables equal to number of tables so now it will give me two here if the same function I will use here so you can see we are now loading orders, product and supplier all together five tables. It should give me five. Let's try to get number of tables here. And let's see what output we are getting. So we have loaded inside the supplier which is our fifth table. And in supplier table we can see we are getting four. So it is giving us the previously loaded table. If I have used it here, then before product table, we are loading orders, employees and customers. So it will give us three. So if we go and check the product table, we should get number of tables three. So again, same as field name, field number, number of rows, Number of tables you can use inside the load script, but it will not consider the table which is being currently loaded. So hope you understand how to use these table functions. If you like my video, please do subscribe and comment.